We're out with the Avios Sea Fury today. Um, we're going to do some tests with a Eagle Tree um, Guardian put into it. Um, the purpose of this will be to set up semi-auto pilot takeoff, landing, um, and for trimming it in flight when you use 2D mode. Um, that's an angle motor control, so that means you can set up your um, transmitter to send commands for you know accurate angles that you want the plane to be doing not a rate motor control as per a plane would normally have that means you can dial in that you want three degrees of climb etc so anyway well the first flight's just to test the guardian in normal mode uh, still in 2d mode but just normal flying around up high then I'll start switching in the, the various uh, autopilot assistances. So we'll start. So we're starting with no, no guardian. Now I'm going to take off in 2D mode. The plane has been, level has been set to be dead level, so in theory um, at centre stick it will just run down the runway cleanly, then I'll manually take over just because we're heading out toward the road, so I'll manually take over for the takeoff rather than um, use the program setting. in um, 2D mode and we'll see what it does. So it's Um, well, I released it to mid stick and it did run down the runway in a level state, so I suppose it was working. But... but, um, just checking. So I've got a trim pot to dial in extra climb and descent. And the trim pot's in the centre. And I would say... It's in the centre, which means the Guardian is trimmed for the fuselage to be dead level. Um, I'd say it's climbing a bit. So what I've done is I've dialed in a very fractional bit of angle of attack. So I've got a very fractional nose up at center stick. Ponk. Not like they work on the rough grass. So basically I was landing with a couple of degrees angle of attack and just using the throttle to bring it down. The grass is a bit rough around here, you'd have to go somewhere where it's smoother or a line on the runway better. So the next thing we're going to try is dial in a climb angle to rotate. So we're basically going to be using the pot to fly the plane. We're going to have neutral pot for the run down the runway. Dial in, dial in maximum climb angle, which I'm not even sure what that is, but it's probably about five or eight degrees, and let the guardian um, climb it out. So first thing is neutral pot for the run down the runway. I do the manual up elevator until it gets up to speed so I can steer it. 
then I'll dial in uh, the climb. So we'll see if it actually does it. So I've released the up elevator. I've put in the up. So that's the climb angle that the Guardian's making it do. So I'm cutting power, going back to neutral. Come around and land again anyway. So I'm slowing right down, dialed in a little bit of nose up. So you can see it's descending. Guardian did a good job, kept the wings level, could fly very slow at that angle of attack. Like you would probably never try and fly that slow yourself because <laughs> you'd be worried about it get a stall. And if you did put a climb input, yeah, you probably would stall it, yeah, if you get the angle of attack up. As long as you can trust they're making it just four degrees. Rough way to land on it, but <laughs> oh, yeah, because of wind. So the Guardian is set for just keeping it level. Oh, I'm using up elevator this time because I'm not trusting that. Landing gear retracted. Landing gear Landing down. Gear Dial in a little bit of up. Three minutes. Watch for the runway. Missed it again. Go for the fun bit. Five minutes. It was a bit rough. <laughs> I was already probably going slow enough. Probably should have, I, I cut power, but I should have left the tiny little bit on. Oh. 